to report any crashes or hazards. Please report any crashes or hazards along the way. We are going to North Dakota, baby. Take a slight right turn. Okay. Look at this shit. Somewhere in uh, Missouri, in between St. Louis and Kansas City, 89 Kansas City, I believe. Pretty far into it, actually, making some solid time and feel good about where we're at. And I feel good driving right now, so I'm on a roll. We're going to keep rolling. Just So I've been driving about 13 hours. I got about multiple stops and stuff. I got about five and a half left. But if you get a little tired, you stop at this rest stop. We're ahead of schedule right now, so we're doing solid. That's North Dakota right there. Just got out of Fargo, had to stop at Shields. Get a couple of things, you gotta stop at Shields. When you drive by Shields, you gotta stop. You gotta stop and get a couple of things. We're friends with the people at Fargo Shields, so we stop at Fargo Shields and we stock up on some stuff. Some of it's the same stuff that we stopped in for last year to stock up on on our way up here. And I don't know why we don't have it anymore, but you know, it's just like you, got, you go in, you stock up on, on some stuff. We are here, baby. We are here. North Dakota B1 is set and ready for us apparently. I'm not even shutting the door. I just want to go in and, and, and be here. That smell, that North Dakota smell, that North Dakota air. Yes. 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 This is the Taj Mahal. This is the redone Taj Mahal. Heck yes. We're here, baby. We are here. Getting after it, headed up to the land right now. Set up some cameras, just checking it out. It's kind of sensory overload currently because it seems like every field that I remember is, is different. A lot of wheat this year, a lot of wheat. Not, not so much beans at all. I, I don't know if there wasn't a demand for them as much or what the deal is there, but not nearly as many beans as there typically is but that's just gonna mean making adjustment don't mean they ain't there it just means you gotta adjust winners adjust that's what we're gonna do winners adjust all right well hopefully y'all can hear me it is a windy 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 day out here perfect time to be doing what we're doing but man is it Simply. windy is how simple and easy these are you go to devices activate literally all you have to do is scan the label in here open that up let it validate view plans I'm gonna do the monthly unlimited original tree. I killed that eight point. You're standing right here. here on this tree. And it's leaning. 
quite a bit now, but we need to get the main stand going that way and camera stand going this way. But it's it's cracked and it just it doesn't appear to be extremely alive. So we've been going down into this one down here. But this one looks like it broke. do that but tall grass want to bring them here or push them out farther either way I think the best thing to do is put the feed where it's been us right there pictures look good I may lower the camera a smidge and then we're out of here we've been hunting this area the whole time we've been hunting here and it's awesome but it's very difficult at times because look at the size of these trees huge and it's tough to get a stand Especially one of them XLPs. Hot. Man, if we could get in uh, either one of these, but the visibility is so much better. You could see down to that sluice. You could see all down into that big sluice system down there, so you're not really pressing. And you could dip right out as well. It's already connected. Give it a sec. That one side, if he had that other side. Another deer behind him. Yeah, it's a double. Well, day one. Got five trail cameras hung like we wanted to, and now we're scouting. See three deer out there already. One decent buck. No. Oh. Steady as hell over here. Too dull again. It might take me a minute to get used to being filmed. This is swearing. But that's what we have been doing for the past. Who knows how long? Oh, wait a second. Just bleep it out. Family friend of mine. Well, not a ton more time left here on our first day in North Dakota, but solid, solid first day. We got, didn't get here till like two o'clock, five cameras set up, already saw a pretty solid buck. We're watching a couple more deer out there right now. And it's only Monday. We got four more days till the season, so two out of the three cameras are already getting, two out of the Sorry, two out of the five cameras are already getting pictures of deer as well, so they're doing pretty solid. I'll tell you one thing, I'm going to be ready for a good night's sleep tonight with my pillow in a nice bed. Get up early and beat the pavement up a little bit, see if we can see something in the morning. The chase is on. I was floating footage last night till pretty late. 
Didn't think I was going to get up this morning. Set my alarm for 6.30 anyway. Was up before my alarm and <laughs> I couldn't go back to sleep. I mean, we're here. Who needs sleep at this point? When you can ride the roads and look for some deer. But I found some pretty intriguing areas. I, I saw a handful of deer this morning. Nothing too crazy. But I found a couple very intriguing areas that I'm going to have to dive a little bit deeper into. Right now I got to get back to the lodge and get to the throne. But after that, we're going to get after some work. Did a little scouting this morning. And now we're going to enjoy the best part of the day and that is the cafe it's cafe time it's lunch time here in north dakota and we all eat because we hungry i could taste that burger jamestown regional there he is Is here. Don't you know it? <laughs> Good to be not riding right. solo anymore. Yeah, this this mod pisses me off. Why? Because it burns battery in it. Oh really? Burns the shit out of the battery. Like super fast. Yeah. Well, you pack light. I would have honestly packed low. I didn't have the computer like that. Yeah, no. That's, you could probably just throw that thing back here. Alright, I just got her washed. You can drive her anyway. Yeah. The back side of this cornfield and where the beans were, like, it's completely secluded. I mean, you, there's no road within a mile in any direction. And I'm like, I'm like, the back, like, literally right where I stopped the truck, there's a fence post. I'm like, you probably could put something right here. But it's like on the top of this hill, and I'm like, this is not going to be, this is not like where he's at. Yeah. And I like start, I go to the end and I start like looking around and I can see a slough that comes out like down the hill. And then I can see the tops of like, I don't know, four or five trees. I'm like, I'm going down there. I'm, yeah, I'm going to go look. So I didn't even grab anything and I just ran down there and, and so I got it. Oh, I'm stepping out here. Wow, this feels good. This feels good. We're back in B1, the luxury suite. Nice and hot out here. Yeah, and it's today it is. And there's the AC in here. Oh my gosh, that that is something right there. Wow, I'm back. But look at that. Yeah. Oh. Lounge, baby. Oh yeah. I, this this is. These are. This is. This is living. This is where I wanted to be. Right on the outside yeah. toilet anyway. I almost slept out here last night because <laughs> I was watching ESPN and shit. Yeah. LFG. It's the, uh, it's the first night of scouting. First really official night. Kane and I scouted a little bit last night, but it was pretty quick. But Dino's here. He's in the passenger seat. Just flew in. And we've already got a pretty good amount of deer on camera, actually. So it's intriguing given the crops that we're working with but this will be the first night to like settle in there get in there and like feel it out one of us is going to go up here we, we're still not sure which one <laughs> and then i don't know the other one's going to be free to free to choose we got cameras doing work we're going to go do some work and dino's here the why is that so satisfying. I don't know. It's just it's satisfying. Good luck. Good luck. Let's see some horn. For sure. About to head into the herd of cattle. And they're probably going to run. Run the countryside away from me. I've been spotted. Now they're, now they're following me. They're following me. Come on. Come on. 
Doesn't that? I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea where I'm going right now. Where I'm going to scout. Normally I'm very much more uh, decisive and like on point with where I'm going to scout. Normally you gotta go with your gut. I went with my gut on each one of them, each one of the five spots that I put up yesterday. And three out of the five anyway fared pretty well, so. I'm blabbering at this point, but I just can't stop talking. I got so much on my mind, so much I want to do, so much I want to see all in one swooperoo of the something else, and I just don't know what to do with myself. I gotta go get on a high rise somewhere and see what I see. God bless. Had a pretty nice buck spotted down there. I think I know who it might be, and if it is, he didn't grow a ton, but looks like a nice, nice deer outlet. Looks like this could be a shooter. First deer I've seen here. I gotta put some does over there. I got a pretty nice buck. He's at about a hundred yards right now. I had to dip off that hill a little bit early because the deer came to where going up there I didn't think would have happened but after getting up there and seeing that it was beans realizing that the deer are probably gonna want to go over there and they did and my wind was perfect for how I wanted to set up but right at dark it just started drifting back towards them I think he didn't know what was going on, but he, uh, he got an alert on his tongue. So I literally grabbed the camera and barrel rolled down the hill out of there. And he was just walking down the, that fence row, eating once I got far away. So I didn't, I didn't spook him, but damn near almost did. I damn near almost did. So I had to get out of there because my wind was getting worse and worse for where he was going. But 
first night in North Dakota. I only saw two deer, but they took up all my attention, so I wasn't glassing anywhere else. But it's a nice buck. It's a nice buck. First night I get to see a nice clean 10 point at like 80, 100 yards, and then you get to enjoy one of those. That's the gift of North Dakota right there. Dang it. That was such a bad angle. See what I mean? Like the adrenaline? Does it get you going? Yeah. They're coming. Do you see them, David? Mm-hmm. You getting it? Mm-hmm. Just keep your head tucked below the blind. Oh, it's too low under him. Can shoot him. I got two. There's one over there running away. Yeah, they keep getting up from that lake over there. Oh, is that one a nice one? It's kind of small. Come on, Ron. You, you sold the bag. I know. I only had one shot. Yeah, the red dot. Dude, you could have just aimed. Yeah, that's what I did for the first one, and it folded. God damn it. Botched it. Oh, well, there's more coming here. That's not a swear word, is it? God damn it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, shoot him. I, I literally hit I literally that one. I clicked again. I hit that I hit one. one. I hit that one. Oh my god, look at this solo. I literally, I'm terrible, dude. No, they were they were already coming in. Mm -hmm. I clicked again. Is it banded? Yep. <laughs> he would be screaming right now. How am I missing these geese, man? I don't understand. I aimed at them too. I went and I shot both of them. They should have caught. Well, that was the first for me. Never really been goose hunting before. Kane and his buddy out here shooting them up a little bit. We actually had some some decent action, I thought. I don't really know much about it, but it was active for that first hour there, so. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm a little tired, not gonna lie, but go back, got a little computer work to do, and then we gotta, we gotta go find a buck. I think he found something. These are nice. These are nice. Otherwise, he wouldn't make me come all the way up here. I feel like Amari Cooper. I've just seen this right here. Oh, that'll, that's something right there. And you can tell it's just, you know, it's so dry, but you can just tell there's prints in here. That's a clear trail. It's, it's like the lowest spot in the fence I've seen. That's a trail. Mm-hmm. Under the tree, they're probably feeding under there a little bit. I mean, there's a, yeah, it's, there's not a lot of low spots in the fence, but that's a clear jumping point. Yes, it is. Okay. And I made the discovery. <laughs> I knew I, I knew you had something going on up here, because I'm like, you would not have made me walk all the way from up here for nothing, but that's definitely, uh, if bare minimum, you don't see anything down there. It just looks like it's too thick next to the corn.
So we just got another camera set up on the property that we hunt, that we mainly hunt. Now this is a little bit different year for us. Number one, there's wheat in a lot of the spots that we're hunting, so these deer have shifted. Number two, we didn't make our our early trip out, which was which would have been about two weeks ago. So it's a little bit different for us. We gotta we gotta be more aggressive getting on deer. We're moving towards the edge of this property, closer to where beans are, in hopes that we'll get deer on this camera earlier than we would have gotten them <laughs> uh, on a camera that we have deeper into the property that's farther away from from beans. So you got to make adjustments like that. Right now the beans are a lot more green than they have been in years past at this time. So the deer are still hitting them. So you got to move closer towards them. At least that's what we've observed in the first couple of days here. So we're making a move and seeing if it pays off. Well, I got the long sleeve on tonight, mainly for bug protection. But I'm walking up the edge of this little tree thicket that surrounds a the landowner's house. So I don't expect anything to be in there, but I'm being quiet. I'm a little late, only about 10, 15 minutes till sunset, because I had to go, I had to go all the way back to David's spot, which is like a 15 minute drive, because he forgot his binoculars, and he has to, he has to observe things that are a mile away, I'm like, yeah, you need, you gotta have binoculars. So I ran back, had to drop those off, and now I'm getting into my spot, so. I'm just gonna ease up here, ease up here. So far, just two doe have come out in this lower slough bush. I'm gonna ease up the road a little bit farther. Beautiful night though. It's sore. Today was a a doozy. I think we were out of the hot wall goose hunting this morning with Kane, which was hilarious. And then we were out of the house by like nine, nine thirty. And we didn't get back home until five thirty. Almost six. Setting cameras, moving cameras, scouting spots, checking them yay or nay on the list. There was a lot of shit going on today. A lot. I'm telling you, I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. Oh. Beautiful North Dakota morning on opening day eve. Wow. Cheers to that. Opening day eve. And it is a beaut of a North Dakota morning. Dino and I had to sleep in this morning. It's been a long couple days, 18 hour drive. Got here, got right after it. Yesterday, Dean and I were going daylight to dark and we just needed some sleep you got to get you got to you got to maintain your energies along this trip it's two weeks it's a grind you got to maintain your energy so you got to know yourself you got to feed yourself you got to get a little of that vitamin d on your fatchki on your fatchki a little lighten it up a little bit and you got to get your sleep because you got to be mentally prepared at all costs at all times especially when you're on pursuit of the velveteen bruiser bucks of north dakota it's an ass scratcher of a morning it's one you come out here and you just <sighs> breathe that north dakota fresh air you let that sun hit you right on the old face you sip your coffee you spill it on your shirt you don't give a shit and you reach back and you give that ass A nice old scratch. It's wonderful. God is good. We are here. The chase is on. It is opening day eve. I don't know. What we're...
I mean, at least there's a tree or two to get into in here. Another spot hung. This is the 10th trail camera we've hung. It's an awesome view out here. This little wood lot, we got corn and a big slough behind us. I really like this spot actually. We've uh, we've been in here before and so have other people, but now it doesn't seem like anybody else is in here. There's some sign in here. It may take these deer a few, few days to find this spot, but I like it. The seclusion, the cover in here, it's all good. If they find it and they like it, you just never know. Maybe we'll be in the chair. <clears throat> all right, ladies and jerrys. It's that time of day. It's that time of day. We're going to the cafe. Grab some lunch. Like they call it here in North Dakota, dinner. Old cafe home cooking. See our ladies for a second. Did you see what the special was today? I did. It's actually like a hot turkey sandwich except with chicken. It's falling apart already, so. Yeah. Is it good? Oh, yes. With mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Is there gravy on Yeah. You want dressing with it? Some more dressing. And the cucumber salad. We're probably going to have that. All right, might as well do it. Full order or half order? What do you think? Full order. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Sold. Yeah. She's like, you need it. This one's going to take us down. It's going to take us down. <laughs> We're going to be beached in the AC until scouting. <laughs> yeah. And I am giving And I am giving things. That's great. We need to make, make it a quick, you know, quick stop. Cafe. That was a great experience. Literally think I'm going to blow the seam in my shorts, but... <laughs> oh, that made it better. I don't know what we needed picked up from, but I feel, I feel, uh, I feel elated. Give me a little pick me up. You're not gonna be able to pick me up though after that. That was a bruiser. Oh, no, you're not. That was a bruiser of a of a meal. Should we run back to the? House? Yeah, probably so we can resituate. Resit. Hi, Karumba. It is hot today. 94, 95 degrees today. It kind of feels like year one we were out here. Remember year one, it was mid 90s most of the trip. There's not a tree on this property. We got trees nearby on neighboring properties, but we're going to push a blind end to the corn because that is our only opportunity to hunt right here is being in the corn somewhere. So we're gonna bush in a blind, let the deer try to get used to it for a couple days. Hopefully they don't have to because the bush is just so strategically and effectively placed. We grow a very good bush. Side note, nothing really makes me feel better than having these on even though whether I need them or not. I feel like I, I could just Odell Beckham up. Pig skin. We have a large bean strip in between two cornfields right here. And then we got a bunch of brush and cover uh, to our to our north over here, a big bedding area basically. So the bedding area, all this like CRP grass meets beans, meets corn all in one. It kind of pinches the deer down here. And there's two big fences, fence corners that pinch them down here too. But we're finding, we're gonna find some spot we can bush this blind in. I would 100% rather always be in an XOP tree stand just to get out in the open air, see more. But this is one spot you just, unfortunately you can't do that even if you wanted to. So. We're gonna bush it in and get her ready for the next week of hunting. We're gonna fly like an eagle. You guys see? They look cool, they feel cool. 
last evening of not sitting in a tree with a bow in hand. <laughs> hey! You gotta love that. All right, it's opening day eve. Last night the scout, and then it's showtime. Game on. So we're gonna enjoy this evening. Dave is gonna go look over the spot where we might hang a stand to hunt tomorrow because we got a north wind. And I saw a decent, nice buck there the night one that I was here. Um, and I'm gonna go back to where I was last night. I got there a little bit late. I just, I think there's a deer in there that we wanna, we might be able to see. So I'm gonna give that another whirl. And we're gonna, we're gonna soak in this North Dakota sunset because tomorrow is the real deal. So let's, a, let's lay some eyes on something tonight. And uh, let's get ready to roll tomorrow. We're going to hang some XOPs and get in the tree. We can't wait to get in the North Dakota tree. I mean, scouting is awesome, but when you're in that tree and you got the bow in your hand, it's a different, different feeling. Let's get it. Let's get it. It is official. It is opening day in North Dakota. Dean and I are out hanging a set. Cameras popped a little bit last night. They popped enough to tell us that we need to be in two different spots. One of them is here. The other one, I believe, where we set up the blind yesterday is gonna be our next best option. We've got groups of bucks coming into both spots and not like a, a definite, definite shooter, but enough bucks to say, there could be one with them. There could be one coming in tomorrow. Uh, who knows? So nonetheless, it's legal to hunt. What time is it? 1241. The season is upon us here in North Dakota. It's here, baby. There ain't no more waiting. The season is here. So we got to be in a tree with a bow in hand. We got to be in a blind with a bow in hand. And we got to be getting after it. So we're hanging a stat, hanging an XOP. This is going to be a little bit of an observatory spot, but close enough to the action that you just never know. You never know. Either way, bow in hand, in a tree, tonight, can't beat it. I'm excited. Loins are bumping. Let's roll. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Is it a tree you would put a tree stand in? No. But, I tell you what, if you're going to test out the capability of a tree stand, the XOP is going to get a test right here. And I don't think any other tree stand, very few would go into this tree. We're going to get six, eight feet off the ground in this thing. And you're going to be in and one with the bush. But honestly, without XOPs, we wouldn't even be considering getting in this tree right here. But this is how most trees are in North Dakota. So you have to have a versatile tree stand and the XOP is going to allow us to do that. So we're going to trim a few of these branches get us into a straightest part of the tree and just be one you're gonna be we're gonna be bushed right in there or david will be i should say tonight so this this might be a one night tree stand um because the wind's gonna switch tomorrow but we're gonna get her bushed in and see what she looks like first xop hung of the trip shows the versatility of these things i mean <laughs> shouldn't have a hang on tree or shouldn't have a hang on stand in this tree like you really shouldn't i mean this tree is going every which way but straight up <laughs> so the fact that we were able to get this in this tree is pretty impressive i mean the spot that we have set up is pretty solid there's two fence crossings there's one at like 25 yards and another one at probably closer to 100 and they're all coming out of these beans and the corn behind us and there's a massive bedding area to the east. I mean, it just sets up really nice. I can see a ton up here. I mean, I can cover so much ground up here. So it's a great observatory spot if we have to make a move later in the week. But also, it's a great spot to be in the game because the deer work this tree row. They're coming across this fence. They're feeding on the beans across the other side of the fence. And we got a little food about 100 yards up there. So, I mean gusty north wind right now it's going to lay down this afternoon it should be really really good it's dropped 20 degrees you really can't beat 
these weather conditions for opening day. So first stand hung in North Dakota so far, pumped about that, pumped to get in it tonight. And we're gonna go set up maybe one or two more spots and we're gonna have to start getting ready. It's opening day, baby. From right, as of right now, we are legal. We are legal. Let's go. Hell yeah. We're strapped up, baby. We're strapped. Hold on. Hell yeah. You already know when you put them wings on what happens to your boy. You already know what happens to your boy when you put them wings on. The game cleats. I'm gonna run down this wheat field with these on. Got your license? Sure do. Got some bugs? Got bugs in here? All right, this is it. I mean, out of the next five days in the forecast, at least, this is supposed to be the coolest night. So, opening night, it's going to be in the mid to low 60s the last hour, which is still warm, but great compared to what it's been the last week. These deer should be up and moving. We'll see, but Dave and I are going to two different spots. Um, we'll both have vantage, and we're both going to be potentially in the game. So um, we had a bunch of bucks pop up on camera last night. It's been it's been like that you know every night since since we put cameras out so hopefully things just get better from here Where am I going? turn 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 I'm gonna drop David off and then then we're getting in we'll have a few hours sit until prime time baby This is what it is. Freaking Robin Hood ass bullshit. Hey, you ain't going in unless you wanna knock one down. To another season. It's an honor, bro. It's an honor to be hunting with yous. Well, we got a heck of a hike across this wheat field. Good news is, when we set the stand earlier, we brought the tree arm and everything, and pretty much all set up. So we are super good at doing this. Usually two jack to hunt, and you, what do we do? We forget something. Well, I just got in, I almost got to my spot, and I look over and, Dave's phone is right in the charger in the cup holder right here. I wasn't even paying attention. I was too jacked up going to the spot. Oh man, we just, it never fails. So I don't even know where he is. I don't even know if he knows he forgot his phone or I don't even know he might be, he, we have no way to contact each other. So I'm just driving back to the spot and I'm gonna see if he's standing there waiting. This is crazy. Oh my god. I got my phone in the truck. Damn it.
never fails. Got Dave's phone. I, literally, when he got out of the car two nights ago, he forgot his binoculars scouting. Like, gotta have those. And I almost joked with him while I just dropped him off and said, don't forget your binoculars. He's peeping. He knows. He found it. Go back. I was too excited. <laughs> Jesus Christ, thanks. I almost said when you got out of the car, don't forget your binoculars. I was messing around and I got to the pins roll and I was just like, I thought I looked down and I'm like, no. Dude, I got halfway across the field and I wanted to call you because the wind felt like it was switching, but it's just when it like slows yeah, down. I but I'm like, fuck. I'm like, I forgot. I'm like, I mean, yeah. this is the worst thing ever. I'm like, you can't. I can't call was, him to I tell him. I, I, got, I literally got all the way to the tree and I turned around for some reason. I saw the truck and I heard a and I'm like, oh my God. I did that. I'm like, I hope he hears me. I'm staying up high because I'm like, I hope he can see me. I was I was trying to wave you back. Like, just can drive back here, you know, at this point. But yeah, I should have. That's all right. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, all right, go get him. <laughs> Hopefully, we're doing that again. Yeah. In this field. Four years. Thanks. Jesus. It's always something. Good thing it's good thing it's a late move usually. We don't make this shit up, folks. This is just how we make stories. This is just what happens. And I'm sure it's happened to you. He was on it. Diener was on it. That's funny. Opening day, baby. It is on. The season is over. <sighs> I've already seen a deer, a doe, setting up way on that other woodbine up and feeding. She went behind the trees before I got the camera up, but deer's up and feeding already. It's a great sign. A little bit cooler today, still in the 70s, but it's been 90, so hopefully that helps the deer movement tonight. I think as soon as that sun starts dropping, that last hour before it hits the horizon, things could get really good here. Opening day in North Dakota, beautiful weather. Out on the prairie, you just, you can't beat it. say or do or feel. I need to drop my bow back is what I need to do. Oh yeah, that is good shit. Give me that shot right there. Give me that one. will be gone. Your lungs will be gone. You already know the drill. We slipped in here today and hung this. I mean, we're... We're eight feet off the ground, but it's so... There's so many trunks to this tree. Just, it feels so concealed and any part, any time of the day that we've been back here, this is always in the shadows. I'm going to get a little sunlight for probably a half hour, and then it's going to be behind this tree, and I'm going to be fine. But my goodness, does it feel good? This stand setup is money. This is exactly how I like to hunt.
lower to the ground and concealed with cover all around but I can see a long distance I can see a lot of different things I can see a lot of sections where deer can move and not even interact with each other it's good stuff but at the same time I got a I got a trail that's coming across the fence at 25 yards and there's another one probably like 80 but if they come into this wheat field and come down here you just never know night to kick off the season. Hopefully Dean saw some deer too. Pupman. If that doesn't just jack you up anymore for the season to keep going. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Take your GoPro out there? No, I forgot. Of course you did. There's a lot of them. You gotta go back like twice. <laughs> Imagine that. Sounds about right. Missed. Oh, right out. No! Oh my god, he spilled his coffee. Don't wanna do that. We're on the button this morning, maybe. Put a deer in front of me. Hey, wait, 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 go back. I'll get a picture, uh, print of this map at Matthews. When, uh -huh. you, when you had it sideways, when you had your bow uh, sideways. Okay, hold on a second. Gotta turn the knock off. Little Whatever. branding, little uh, promotion. Here, like that. Still look good in yeah, the sunlight. Yeah, nice and smooth. Yep, there you go. Good job. So the other day, I came in here and I found this spot on the map on Onyx. I actually wanted to be about a half mile that way and I thought it was going to be closer from right here well when I got here I realized how much farther it was going to be but I also realized that these beans came up to this corn and I looked down the corn line and I could see the tops of some trees down there so I just went to go investigate and when I did that I'm like this is a great spot got to put a camera down here I didn't bring one down there so upon hiking all the way down, I had to come all the way back. I got a camera, I got feed, I went in 
all the way back in there. And when I went all the way back in there, I investigated a little more and I found a trail camera. Without wanting to step on anybody else's toes, I just backed out. Like, I'm not going to compete with somebody else. We have other places to hunt. I'm going to back out. Well, we have a buddy up here for the last couple years that we keep in contact with. And he knows where we hunt and whatnot. And I said, by any chance, do you have... I just gave him kind of the area that I was in. Do you have a trail camera over there? And he said, yeah. So we started talking and kind of pinpointing the area. And lo and behold, it was his. He's got a couple other really good bucks that he's hunting and he had been seeing an older like big old, older seven point in here he sent me pictures and i was like sure sure i'll do that one of us will do that so we're going to set a camera back up in here now where i originally wanted to be it was a spot that i was extremely excited about we're going to set a camera back up in here now and then we got to go hang a stand but kind of a crazy change of events and a story for you is you just you just don't know. It might be on my mind right now. It's still there. Lamar? I, no, I knew it. It's not Lamar. It's either Lamar or Matt Stafford. Patrick Mahomes is still there. He ain't still there, boy. Check them. My not Milky Ways. Trying to hang tree stands and Kane is holding us up with a North Dakota fantasy draft. Who's going to be your next pick? Damn it. <laughs> what? Just pick Lamar. I knew you wanted Lamar. Trade bait. I was going to use Lamar as a trade bait. I knew, I mean, I mean just <laughs> you're so predictable. So, you're so predictable, son. You're so predictable. <laughs> What's wrong with Chris Godwin? Is he... Nobody wants him. That's that doesn't make much sense. Sore testy. Who's throwing to him? Sore testy. <laughs> oh, who am I gonna take next? That guy's two picks back to back. I'm right, right back on the clock. This is like this is this spot over here is just a tradition for us. There's a little group of trees here. We've killed uh, a number of bucks out of these trees right here. It's always a good spot. It's a little bit different this year because it's all weed around here, but it's just a beautiful area, a bunch of hills and lowlands that all have uh, sloughs in them. So it just, it holds deer, but I'm gonna get back to our roots that we usually do at least once a year getting a tree over here or at least the same same tree. So gonna get back in it and feel North Dakota and never know what could show up over here. We've had different bucks come and go from this spot almost every year so you just never know it can show up the wind's perfect we're gonna hang the tree get get the uh xop in the tree and uh we're gonna we're gonna sit it tonight this is this is less like climbing a tree and more like rock climbing <laughs> like pick your pick your piece of bark to, to sink your paws into <laughs> <laughs> like Mowgli. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, size <laughs> of Oh my gosh, man. Wow. Gosh dang it, if, this is, if I could get in here. Huh? That's Yeah, I think I have to be over there. I gotta be able to see that lake. If this is partially an observe, a learning. All right, well, after getting up in this tree, even though this is a pain in the rear to hang it in the stand, we had to double up the sticks, even though we're not high at all off the ground, but I gotta get in the tree we were in last year. There's a whole lake slew and a a little bit of trees up there as well as some back to my left and I thought I would be able to but from this tree I cannot see either of them and that makes it a lot less productive being being in here because if I see something get up in either lake and they're not moving 
in this direction, we gotta be able to make a move, and right now I can't even see that, both those spots, so I need to be able to do that, so we're creating more work, but we gotta tear down and move over. Yeah, I didn't like it. I was trying to like it. Yeah, it just didn't feel, didn't feel proper. Might still need a doubler down there, but. Yeah, just leave them together for now. Well, we just shifted, shifted trees here. Took probably an extra hour to do it, just because these trees are tough and that one took a while to get into, but this was the right move. I just was not feeling that tree. It was a little bit, just too low, too out in the open and I couldn't see what I wanted to see. I can see a big lake slew up here. I can see the one behind me. Um, I can actually see a little bit more of that slew than I could right there just because of the height I'm at. So it was a, took a little time, a little extra work, but it was the right move. The XOP allowed us to be able to move that stand quickly. And the sticks go in so easy. And if you have weird trees like we do out here, it doesn't have to be a straight a straight tree for the sticks to go up. They're literally so light. We just yanked them down, and this one this one went up in 10 minutes or less. So when you're on the go and you got to move and shift and be mobile like we are on this trip, these stands XOP is the way to go. You can see my bush. You can see my bush. You can see my bush from the road. That's Actually, what, that's what she said. Speaking of bush, Dean and I had to trim up the old crimson beards. <laughs> crimson. The old crimson beards. We're Alabama boys now. Crimson tide, roll tide. Go Buckeyes. Anyway, we're headed back. I'm gonna go out to the same stand I was was in last night. I have a better wind. I act, I like the wind a lot better blowing out into the wheat field because I feel like the deer, especially when the shadows hit the field, pinch down into the corn and the beans right behind me. And I'm hoping to pinch one tonight. I'm going to be honest. I kind of have a, have a funny feeling. We could be in the chips. I feel good. I feel good. A little warmer than they said it was going to be, but I've walked into this tree quite a few times. Much different walk though with, with wheat here and no beans. Actually, the last time there was wheat here, we didn't hunt back here. It's honestly pretty much the same as it is right now. There's just not a lot of deer back here. Perfect beds, water. So you honestly would think they would still be in here, but the food is just too far away. And the, the bordering property is wheat as well. So it's not even like they can, they can use the property to bed. They got a long way to go. For they got a mile or so for the most part to get the food, so. Rolling the dice here. Majorly rolling the dice. Definitely chilling down now. The sun's gonna set here in about 10, 15 minutes. So we got 45 minutes left or so. Haven't seen a deer yet.
should be able to wrap my stuff up real quiet and sneak out. But I don't know how many bucks are out there. I caught two right after the one doe was right under me for a while. And then I looked back and there was three more. It looked like two of them were pretty decent. Got up early this morning, got up onto this high rise. The first morning, or the first, sorry, the first afternoon we were here together. Dean was here, he saw a buck way across that lake in the beans. And from this side, we can see the side of the lake better that he was betting on. So we wanted to come up here to see if we could get some eyes on him again because we haven't seen him since we got a trail camera over there but he ain't been on it we're just trying to find a buck our cameras are just pretty uh i don't even know how to describe them <laughs> there's deer on them for sure there's a lot of deer just no right real big big buck and there's deer track all the way down the corn line so they're coming up or they're yeah and the deer wanted to go up after they came out i don't know where they're going to i think they're just feeding the corn well we saw some deer out there not him we're gonna go back get some javi take some shit eat some breakfast and figure out how we're gonna run and gun today baby another day on the great plains So we got to go to the laundromat, the Medina laundromat. Come in here just like the old times. I'm going to get the big one so I can just have all of the stuff in one load. Heavy duty, cooled. Lid is locked, we're in business. I mean, I can't say enough, honestly, about these tree stands, what they've done for us, and the ease of use to hang and hunt. And if you're trying to be a mobile hunter, honestly, even if you're not trying to be a mobile hunter, these things are awesome just to get in the woods and hang and hunt stands that you're, you know, you might have hung up for a week or two weeks and then you gotta move. He's super lightweight, super lightweight. So you can put them on your back. We have camera gear, um, just a ton of gear in general and we still can put these on our back with the sticks and go hang and hunt. And that is the reason why we use them. The sticks clamp together, so easy. You can clamp them right to the stand. Nothing's gonna rattle around. You can literally have the sticks and the stand in one piece, solid piece, not rattling around. Put them on your backpack. Just an example, they come like this in the box, but how these things clamp together, they have these little clamps on the side of them. And look at that, two sticks right there. There's not a chance that there's any rattling going on when you're walking to or from the stand. They lock in place, again, super lightweight. One of the best things that honestly, I like about this tree stand is the color. Underestimated feature in any tree stand, in my opinion. A lot of tree stands, you got that dark charcoal color, even black. Some of them are like a super light or like almost like a white gray. You can see them from a long distance away. And number one, you don't want game to see them. But if you're hunting public and certain things like that, I don't like people being able to see my tree stand from a long distance away. When it's hidden in the stand, 
if you're hunting like public ground or anything or non-posted ground, um, you might not want someone knowing that you're in there, just drawing attention to yourself. It's just part of a, a strategy and a tactic for hunting and not drawing attention to yourself. It's just a stealthy mindset that I like to have. And this color is literally perfect for almost all trees. They blend in super, super well. So one of my most favorite thing about the tree stand itself, awesome, super thick, super comfortable pad. Um, again, it looks awesome. It's got the green color. Can't say enough about these stands right here. All right. Here we are on our mission, on our trek. XOP on the back. We're going to hang and bang. I don't know, something feels right about tonight. I have these jitters. We haven't been back here yet hunting this trip. This is an old faithful spot. And the fact that we can come in from the back door because the wheat is here and we can drive up into here a little bit perfect because normally we have to access from where the deer come from when there's beans and it's no good but now top access like this this is when I killed my first ever velvet buck down here out of the same tree same tree that I'm planning on going to anyway so I'm fired up I mean we don't have a ton moving on this camera but we have a good amount of bucks moving a little west of here and a couple of them have been on this camera it's just gonna take them linking up together and making the move you never know but I'm gonna be here to find out I can tell you that much so this is a heck of a nice pack in pack out all my self filming gear literally everything self-filming gear tree stands sticks bow everything i need to be a self-filming freaking wizard and this this xop stuff allows that to happen our destiny, destination. Ugh. Well, the humble abode that only took about 25 minutes. Everything unpacked in the tree safely. I already got a line up there to hook into right when I get up there. It's super windy right now and I don't know when this is supposed to die down but um, I'm in. In the tree a lot quicker than I actually anticipated so I'm pretty fired up. This wind is actually going to keep us concealed from hanging this thing. Everything's dry so hopefully our scent will just kind of get out but I'm pumped. Be in this tree that slew back there is right where these bucks have been on camera. So we're not a far distance. Hopefully they get up and given this wind, they want to come take some uh, shelter or just kind of walk in and out of this tree row and feed in and out of this tree row. That's what I'm hoping anyway. The wind is good. The stand is good. I'm good. I feel good. Get in it. Let's get up in it. You got... He's got the Smokies. You ready to roll? I'm ready. Let's roll. Kane's cameraman tonight. I mean, what a treat for me. There you go here. This is day three. Yeah. Day three in Nodak. I got a cameraman. I'm the cameraman today. We're going ground attack. Ground attack with the bow. 
sitting on a rock pile. This is throwback to me and Dave four years ago. That's what I'm saying. Like, how long ago is that? You gotta recreate it. It's like when we were sitting on that mountain, he shot that wide 10 point. This is what we're doing. This is basically what we're doing again. Hey, we had success the last time. We look like we're out in the, we look like we're out in the Badlands right now. Oh, here's Dove. Dove just fell by. Still kind of in Dove mode here. Been hunting geese and doves. So. No. Damn, this man walks fast. It's a fast walker. is perfect up on this rock hill we're going over. We are going to old school on the rock pile. This is like certain do so 2017 maybe. We got a lot of memories on molehills and rock piles out here so we're gonna bring it back and see if we can make something happen. I saw a buck on night one <laughs> right next to this rock pile and onto the beans behind us. And uh, the trail is literally, it's five yards to my left. And we're kind of bushed in this. It's kind of nice, bushed in here. I'm just a little bit elevated. And we'll, I'll be able to watch him coming. Hopefully he was bedded down there somewhere, if he still is. And he came right off this grass line. And walked right here. So, I'm gonna hopefully be ready. He's gonna try to film it over the shoulder. To see what happens. mile an hour gust but this feels a little bit stronger man this whole XOP setup is badass four sticks the stand all my hunting gear all my camera gear everything on my back I was set up Within 25 minutes, when I got to the base of this tree, I was literally set up with the stand at least within 25 minutes. Trying this new spot tonight. There's a couple bucks that are working the sloughs and the beans a couple hundred yards to the west. And a couple of the smaller bucks have been on the trail camera up this tree row a little bit. So I'm hoping that today they come up here and the big ones follow. If that's the case, we'll be in the in the money. Some cool, that's some cool footage. on this setting. They got a 
jumping beam behind me. Nice being up in this tree. I saw four different bucks, three doe, I think, all far. I went in on a hanging hunt mission yesterday. Dean and Kane were up on the hill on a ground perch ambush. And I don't know if it switched up the mojo a little bit, but the one camera that we've been waiting to fire up fired up last night big time, and a new buck was on it actually buck that we know from last year we were trying to hunt a little bit towards the end of the week last year showed back up he's in full velvet and where I'm at down on the bottom side of the field I don't know that he's coming from that way he's hitting that tree that trail camera but I don't know that he's coming from that way so we're gonna go probably three maybe even 400 yards up the hill hang another stand Dean's going to be able to overlook this massive lake and slough to see if he gets up down there, number one, for obviously a vantage mission, but number two, if he gets up early and he comes to our tree row, Dean could be just as in the chips. In fact, I think there's a better opportunity to kill him tonight where we're going to hang the stand right now. So we were just kind of, you know, deliberating at the lodge and we came up with this plan and it makes me feel good. We're gonna double, we're gonna, we're going at him from two different angles. We're ambushing for, from two different angles. We're gonna be far apart, but if he comes in from either, which is really the only two ways that logically he should, we'll be there. Both of us. Both of them. We're zeroing in on the kill. Got these. XOP set up with the deluxe straps on them. Got the J hooks, J hooks in there to hold the to hold the sticks. These things are honestly they're unreal. These setups. They whether you're packing in honestly to hang the stand with all your hunting gear, or you're just slipping in, hanging the stand, and then coming back to hunt. Either way, they're they're so good to be mobile. Honestly. Unreal, and like I could like I could barrel roll down this hill, and you're not going to hear any clanking from this tree stand. So, good stuff. It is the master of <laughs> psychoanalyzation of the whitetails, but to his to his credit, look at the beans. They're all yellow. This whole strip of beans turned yellow within the last couple days. But the irrigation for this corn swings out and waters this little back corner. And when you look at the bean, they are browsed on like crazy. Probably the craziest browse that I've seen on the trip. I mean, look at all the tops are taken off of these things. All of them. But especially right now, when all the other beans are yellow, these are green. We're going to put a trail camera right on one of these holes. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of scat. 
yeah, I just check a spot out. These, these deer will be in the craziest places here in North Dakota. But this there's corn right there. There's, there's two irrigation systems that come together right here. So the middle of it is beans. It pinches together. And then, I don't know, this is just a nice corner down here in the corner of the beans and the corn to be in. They got bedding area. And they must like hanging out under this tower right here because there's deer crap in the brown. The beans are just totally browsed right here. I don't know if something's here, but it's worth giving it a shot. I agree. Night four, is it night four? Night four. Wow, night four already. <laughs> We're doing a, uh, what do we call this? Like the, the TNB special. I mean, when we were growing up, when Dave and I were growing up, we used to sit like anywhere from 40 yards to 80 to 100 yards apart frequently because like when I was really young, you know, I knew I wanted to walk in the woods with somebody. so. Dave would drop me off at my stand and then he'd go like whatever 60 80 yards farther and we'd always be seeing the same deer they'd be smelling us we'd be flinging arrows but that's where T and B that's where tag and brag all started is the the 60 to 80 yards apart hunt now that's not what we're doing tonight but we are like a couple hundred yards apart and it feels like that because North Dakota is just so big and vast we're in the same tree row so we're giving them the tag and brag special they don't know what's coming. They don't. So this nice nine point that we haven't named, what's his name, Cheech? We don't really know, but. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> yeah! We don't really know, but we're gonna give him something he's never seen before. That's, that's what we're gonna give him. So it's a hot night, but it always cools down that last hour, the golden hour, and there might be a laser. There might be a laser show coming out of the tree row. He's Cheech. He's Chong Cheech. died last year. He's although, Cheech. Although he, uh, you know, he was roaming around with Jupiter. You could, you could name him another uh, planet if you wanted to, but Jupiter's gone. Jupiter lost orbit. So <laughs> <laughs> we're in the galaxy. He is. We're in the we galaxy. We don't know, but rest in peace. Rest young. in peace. If you are floating about the Milky Way, we hope you resume our gravitational pull and. Re-engage in orbit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for now, Cheech. Cheech is one of our uh, one of our moons. Cheecher. Here, let's go. Let's go, Cheech. Hold, hold tight to that shoulder. Let it rip, cuz. Good luck. today I can tell you that but we ain't taking the day off this is probably the shortest walk I'll have to a tree stand out in North Dakota only got about 200 yards normally we're walking half mile but this is like the only place to park over here dip it down that hill and try to get it out of the way otherwise I just gotta walk too through too much Deer area in the dark. What happened is what's happening is currently I'm a little salt. I'm a little salty because my fluid head just broke. I don't know what happened. Well, I know what happened. The outermost layer of rivets within the fluid head that screws on to the tree arm like stripped as I was screwing it on there. I mean, no idea how, why, what the frick, but my now it literally just spins, spins. It doesn't even try and grab it. 
where I'm trying to get the post out more, but <laughs> Jesus. Hey, shit, you see that thing almost hit me? But the um the big washer that screws on is like rusted onto my fluid head a little and I cannot break it free. Because if I could break that free, I could give it the post a little more length. I think it would get up in there. But I can't break it free. So right now I'm running all all GoPros in this second angle. And when when I can, I'll get footage with the main camera from afar. But as he's approaching, if 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 it's him approaching, then I'm gonna have to grab my bow and rely on everything else. All my other cameras. That's why you bring 16 of these freaking things to the woods. But it's annoying with all the work that we do and all the time. And now my main camera is sitting in the freaking bag. But small bumps in the road, we gonna make it work. I can tell you that much. We are gonna make it work. And Dino's up the hill, so maybe I'm just meant to be here tonight. And enjoy. Machinery quiets down. It's Labor Day today. Labor Day. This is when the laborers get their days off. Not a farmer, though. That's not how they roll. Well, another night down. We got a couple minutes left, but if nothing happens. We'll be at night. Night four or night five, and the next two nights are going to be very warm, as was tonight. But so we're going to have to hope and pray that there's movement.
Just got out to uh, one of our spots, <clears throat> kind of been just doing some nonchalant things, work all day. Um, but this camera ran out of batteries last night. A couple cameras needed some <clears throat> battery assistance, so we're doing that today. And then I think Dino and I might climb up in the blind together tonight. Just trying to get good shots from the peeps. It's all about that angle, that lighting. Gotta love it. Yeah. Wow. He's going with the tiger stripes. I'm going with the tiger stripes. Because I feel vicious. Let's go. Let's do it. Tag teaming tonight. Tag teaming. Going into blind. Into a blind. Because we don't have a good wind for literally anywhere else. Well, nowhere else where bucks are showing up. That's at least. So we're going to bake out this blind. We're gonna go, yeah, we are gonna be. We are gonna, gonna be, be slow cooking on this thing. <laughs> it's gonna be like being in one of those uh, slow cooker Sunday. Set it and forget it. Hey man. Set it and forget it. Slow cooking Sunday on the bourbon tour. Going after the bourbon boys today. The bourbon boys. We got Jack Daniels Wild Turkey and uh, Jim Beam. Jim Beam, sorry. Jim Beams. Do you want Jim, to be technical? Jim Beams, the bourbon tour. We're going on the uh, a little whiskey bender. Oh, but that's we got the trio of the trio of bucks. Well, actually, there's more than that. More there's definitely more than that. There's a good amount of bucks in here. The spot that we're going. We don't have any information from last night because our camera died. I'll let you go, man. Hit the nos. He did. He did. Yeah, our camera died last night, so we don't know what was going on, really, but there's... Last night was kind of slow anyway, so we're just not, we're not too worried about it, but they've been showing up right before dark, so... <laughs> Hit that bump and stride. Bump and fuzz. Hoping for a hot weather buck. A baker buck. Bacon and the blind buck. It's night five. It's we're teetering into crunch time, so it's time to send one. It is time to send one. Tonight would be a good night because we could finish off the trip just filming each other for the next four nights. And we got some cold weather coming in Friday, Saturday, but teetering with a front coming in Thursday. So the weather's looking good in the next few days. This is just a hot one that we got a bear. So we're going to let things sizzle tonight and hope we get a bonus buck. It could happen. I feel very confident about it. So bourbon boys, here we come. Coming to drink your whiskey.
We're in. We're in. Yeah, baby. The hellacious hound. Heat seeking projectile. Night five. Night five. It's flying as it always does, but we had a wind switch from yesterday, even though we had a good night hunting. We had to get into different spots, um, or this is really our only spot that's set up that at least has good deer in it. Unfortunately, it can't be in the XO piece tonight because there's not, not a tree on this property. Um, so we bushed the blind into this corn. It's a good, good setup. Beans meet the corn right outside of a bedding area. It's, we got a handful of nice bucks on the camera right here. So it's hot, but we're confident. These bucks have been close to moving in daylight. It's the bourbon trio, the bourbon tour. We got three nice bucks in here, but there's actually a handful more that are, are borderline. So we'll see who tests this tonight. Test the old blaster. You just never know. But yeah, it should be a good night. They'll probably move closer to dark, but we will see. It's a little hot, but they gotta move. At some point, they gotta move, so I'm ready to send one. It smells like bourbon in here. It smells like bourbon in here. It smells like bourbon tonight. Bur burgers and bourbon celebrations I have nothing else to say at the moment It already feels like it's after sunset, which is nice because you're not getting the blaring sun shadows right now. The haze is creating a little bit of a softened opacity, if you will. <laughs> not such defined shadows. It might be end up being good. So far, it's not, but. Might be good.
yeah, that's him. Jack Daniels. I think. All the good ones. There's two of them though. Boy, hmm. he's kind of making his way. They're all, they're all up there. See him? That's screwed up.
great shot, Dean. Great shot, great bunk. Right there. Going down, gonna go down in the beans. Right at last light. Wow, baby. Yes. Yes. What a deer game. Unreal. Unreal. Jack Daniels is done. Wow, baby. What a stunt, man. On a warm, warm night. Another one still standing there. Oh, my God, dude. Wow, we got it done. We saw him far away, and I didn't think they would have enough time to get here, and they did. There's a great deer, dude. Oh, beautiful box. Beautiful pen. <laughs> oh, great shot. Way to, way to just stay calm. Oh, my God. Hey, you wore that thing good for a second. Whew, man, we got it on North Dakota, man. We've been on the freaking... <laughs> wow. We did not think that was going to happen. What a beautiful ten he is. Beautiful ten. That is a great deer, dude. Wow. Congratulations. He still has his moment on right. Oh, hold yeah. on. Wow. That is that crazy. Oh, he's a beautiful deer. Big deer. A beautiful buck. That's a no brainer. Wow, deer. we have been working our tails off this trip because we have not been able to find a good buck we finally did over here. They haven't even been daylighting. And we made a couple adjustments. Oh my gosh, we didn't have the camera running in here last night, so we were coming in surprising, like on a, I don't even know, I can't get my words, unreal. Unreal, North Dakota, and we still got good weather. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is a stud, dude. Congratulations. Other, that other eight is nice too. Dude, they're, yeah, they're all just standing out there. Unreal. With a few minutes to spare. Oh, man. With a few minutes to spare. That is Unreal. Awesome. Oh, yeah, that was perfect. Have a couple minutes to spare. Unreal. Unreal. Yeah, baby. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, baby. Came. Oh, my God. Hun, I'm real. so glad. I, I'm so glad that it just worked. Oh, out. that would have been so hard for me to do by myself. That would have been so hard for me to do by myself. Our wind, we didn't have a great wind for our other four stands that we got set up, and yeah, it just there were good deer in here, and there's literally no trees. Can't get an XOP. The only spot to be in is at the edge of this corn where it pinches together with the beans. We had to bush a blind in, and it just worked. I can't believe that it just worked. Oh my God, dude. Thank that you for awesome. Rolling. What a freaking hunt, dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's right. I don't know. I the didn't, bourbon I don't, boys the came bourbon in, The bourbon boys dude. came in in a line. All three of them. All three of them. All three of them. Did they go? And they're still way up on that hill. I just don't know what happened. I hear something. I couldn't see that arrow in the blind. We saw it zip right through him, but we can see it now. See that blue knock lit up. Well, let's go look for him. Yeah, I couldn't see the couldn't see the arrow in the in the blind. It's behind all these this grass, but. I don't even know. 
he was kind of up on this knoll. That him right there? Yep, right in front of you. Oh, that's a big deer. Nice deer. Look at the size of that deer. That's a big deer. Wow. That's a big deer. Wow, that velvet feels so awesome. Wow. That is pretty. Pretty deer. Wow. Unreal. Big body on that sucker. He's got perfect velvet on. It's today the It is punched. Tag, punch 22. North Dakota, let me put my license back. Ladies and gents, just what an, what an unreal hunt tonight. I can't even, I'm still, I'm speechless. I was shaking like crazy until we got out of the blind. I mean, we talked about these yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Just if we could tag a buck, it would just be a bonus deer because it's been so warm and it's supposed to. Didn't have great wind tonight, and Dave said, you know what, we gotta change up the energy. We gotta go back to our roots. We gotta hunt together, because that's where the energy comes from, and that's where this, that's where everything all started, is, is together. So Dave elected to let me have the bow tonight and come in and be the cameraman, and we had a blast hunting, and I, I mean, <laughs> right here. I, I can't can't speak enough about it. How could it, how could it end this way with a with a hunt together? Dave's filming me and we tagged a gorgeous North Dakota 10 point. I mean, just an unreal, unique buck. Huge body on this thing. Had pictures of him last year. Just, I mean, a spectacular deer. It's unreal. This thing is, this thing is amazing. The hunt was awesome and we still got three or four nights to keep getting after it. And yeah, this is just, I don't know, North Dakota. It's one of our favorite places. Just for so many reasons, but this is icing on the cake right here, sitting in the middle of a bean field with the moon and the stars above you, and you get to hold a beautiful velvet North Dakota 10 point. Early season, early bow season, you just can't beat it with your brother. Just coming out here on an adventure, chasing whitetails, it doesn't get any better than that. It really doesn't get any better than that. This thing, like this body on this thing was massive. Like we were trying to get in the. Where'd you get it? Right in the lung, double lung. Yeah. Oh, is that? This is that. That's nuts. That, no, it's... That's a pretty nice deer. Yeah, he's got a nice beams that wrap oh, around. Oh, and velvet to it. That's like your fifth velvet buck now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Let's go. Cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. Proud of you. <laughs> It's about time he shot something. That's a big body, you're right. Holy shit. Yeah, well, big we ass. We put him in the truck. A couple of the other ones that we've gotten have not been. You didn't call thing. me and ask me to help. Or whatever. <laughs> we literally, uh, I mean. We're always thinking like one of you two guys or something like one of you guys got yeah, a deer. It's just, well, my dad wanted me to take a picture. He's in bed, so. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get in there. I got it done. 
one of the bourbon boys went down, I think it's only, uh, that's not, I think it's only fair that we, uh, Sacramento to have some bourbon. Here's a little celebratory. <laughs> I feel like I'm in, uh, Beauty and the Beast or something. Dude, hell of a deer. That, that is, is awesome. Book. Yeah, that is awesome. Like, why this shit doesn't get any better? No, it doesn't. You can't beat this shit, man. All the bucks. Bourbon boys, this is this one's for you. Good morning, everyone. Well, good morning. I mean, we have not slept but three hours last night. <laughs> Look at that deer, man. That fuck. Look at that freaking cage. Awesome, awesome North Dakota buck. We're gonna go try and take advantage of some lighting and get some better picks. We literally were cooking burgers on the grill out here at like two last two in the morning. Because of all, we had to go all the way to Jamestown to get ice and back. Came back, Kane came over a little bit, hung out with him for a little while, then we had to break out the bourbon for the bourbon boys a little bit dean got them hung out for a little more went to jamestown came back by the time we got back it was like 1 30. we threw some fries in the oven we patted up some burgers that kane left us from his uh archery buck last year and now we're gonna go take advantage of some sunrise lighting and get some more picks pretty incredible how quick the trip can change Yep. Yesterday morning we were kind of scratching our head and scratching our ass wondering what are we going to do. Now we're just kind of having fun. Thank you for the sacrifice Jack D. There he is. There's the guy. There's that guy. Hey guy. Dragging butt a little bit. <laughs> we got a couple hours of sleep. It's all worth it. Well, Dave and I had to come out here at sunrise and enjoy a couple photos, just soaking in the moment, because that's what you got to do out here in North Dakota. Just this uh, this area, the state has been so good to us, and last night was just unreal for Dave and I to be together, teamed up. Dave filming me and just a unreal, unreal hunt with three beautiful bucks coming in. Um, it was just, I don't know, it was just too cool. weren't weren't really expecting it. We kind of went in without cameras working in the area, which is awesome. Just kind of went in out of out of surprise, not knowing exactly what the deer were doing there the night before, and we just got blessed with an unreal, <laughs> unreal North Dakota hunt. But you can't you can't beat this right here. It's just too good, too good. North Dakota 2022 has been good to us and we got three or four more days to keep getting after it, but unreal. Oh, we, uh, like I said it before, we're running on minimal, minimal hours of sleep, but we had to get up and enjoy a North Dakota sunrise in the lighting advantages that it gives us so we did that got some pics got a little bit more video i mean what a buck what a buck what a night being together and being able to do this with a couple days to spare i mean quite honestly whatever happens happens i'm grateful for this opportunity regardless and uh yeah we're we're going home a couple happy hunters no matter what but that was uh that was pretty sweet Here, you want to get up there and I'll... Ready? One, two, three.
<laughs> getting Kane set up in this tree stand. It's his first tree stand experience. They're going to be standing right here. Smoke City. Dude, <laughs> he can't see you up there. Yeah. Just leave like your Rocky, one of your Rocky sweatshirts. Okay. I, I mean, this, this green kind of blends in, but that green that you guys got really. We can leave some pants too if you yeah. need them. You see the bow hook on your left up there? Yeah, I see it. Hook your bow up there, and then Kane, the middle, the middle tree, you can put the um, GoPro? GoPro right there. The tripod will just kind of set up there, and then you just face it towards like behind you I got it. so it's facing all out here so they can you know see but you'll be in the chips tonight and it's a win it this is my seat yeah bring your binos yeah i know i found them game day cleats baby just like nino says the game day cleats Lock yourself in. Feels so good. Feels so good. It does. Feels so damn good to get locked in and ready to roll. This was the last piece of the puzzle. These new flex fits are the she too. Dino hooked it up with them. I like them too. It's kind of hot in here. It's gonna be liquidy. Right. Wings. We're we're engaged. The wings are engaged. Ladies and gentlemen. The mojo switch, the energy combination, it worked. It's dead. It worked. We tagged out last night. Well, Dean tagged out last night. I mean, we had an absolute unbelievable hunt last night. I don't know. You just, you can't really script things like that. You try to script them. You try to plan it out. You try and make everything perfect. But it doesn't work that way. We've struggled literally all week to get ourselves on deer i mean before yesterday i don't know that dean had had a buck in bow range all week i could be wrong no i don't i mean and i i i only i've only had a you know one or two little ones and we just you just keep grinding i guess you just stay patient dean said the other day we just got to stay patient we can't let what happens each night on trail camera dictate like our energy and our efforts towards hunting and at times it did we're human but you know in the grand scheme of things we just kept going and on probably if you would have if you would have circled the worst weather night of the week it would have been either today or yesterday and on the worst weather night of the week we just made the right moves, got into the right spot, timed it up perfect, and we fell right into the laps of the old bourbon boys. And unfortunately, God rest his soul, there is one less bourbon boy. Jack Daniels has left the building. We appreciate his sacrifice. But now, we are refocusing our efforts, and I feel good. I don't know, it's 93 degrees right now, but I feel good going in. Like, I, that, sit for Dean and I together yesterday just eradicated my energy we got a plan We're, I'm going in by myself tonight I'm going back to the spot where I did a hang and hunt mission three nights ago saw a really good buck in there two nights ago and because of the wind we were out of there last night but I'm going in by myself because we don't have to move the stand tonight we're going to have a wind switch tomorrow and Friday, and that's going to require us to move the stand. So if we should make it till that point, we're going to tag team it and be in the stand together. But tonight we're going back 
to Old Faithful. We're going to see if she works. She almost worked the other night. I feel good about tonight, even though it's hot. It's hazy again. I feel like the deer are going to feel sunset prior to the sun actually setting. And uh, I don't know. Just grateful to be going back to the stand in North Dakota. We got a couple days left. I'm Dean and I are both just trying to soak up literally every last minute of this place because it's something special. So if we can get around this tractor, we'll be in the stand here in the gym. Let's get it done. Go. Send the energy. I'm sending it. Send the energies. All right. I'll be on the horn. Be on the friggin' horn. I got the. I got the outfitter treatment drop today. The drop today. It's good shit. We can drive this whole farm, so it don't matter. It's probably better, honestly, to be dropping off from the scent leaving standpoint. Actually, you don't want you don't want to pull my tracks there. Go this way. The way I've been going. was 91 when I was walking in and I came in late today like 5.30 Dean dropped me off it's still 91 degrees but for some reason I don't know why I feel something I feel something a little steamy up up in my loins and I'm not kidding I had like this nervous energy all the way on the ride here I still do sometimes it's the anticipation of like the kill honestly I believe that I believe that Because there is remorse. No doubt about it. A soldier has fallen. And there is uh, one less to chase. There's definitely remorse for that life. For sure. Because especially, I mean... We've watched that deer that Dean shot for the last two years at least. We probably could go back three years and figure out who he was. Because he was in there. But what a stud. Man, what a deer. We got we got like three hours of sleep last night. We had to run into town to get bags of ice so that we could keep him cold overnight. And then we actually took him to one of the local butchers in town which was which they were very very accommodating and extremely nice people and normally we cut them up ourselves but given the time and given the fact that I still have a tag too and we're not like at the end end of our trip time is money so we don't pay for it and I'm okay with that I am okay with that. There's a big deer in here. Cheech. He's a stud. 
at least for big heavy deer. Not a massive scoring deer, but I, I never really worry about that. Just got to go with what makes you tick. Last night on the camera, my heart was thumping the whole time. Thumping hard. The night before when I was in this stand and I saw that buck, thumping. I haven't had that kind of thump in a minute. I'm going to tell you that much. I'm going to tell you that much. Since Nipsey, probably. Waiting for Dino to get back from the store. Doing a little editing. Edit. Hunt by day. Edit by morning, night, whenever you squeak in the time. But we're rolling out semi-live episodes all friggin' week. All week. And we only got a couple days left. But we still grinding. Well, Dina and I just got up to the, uh, to the land. And same spot I hunted, well, down the tree rows where I hunted last night. Dean hung a stand here a couple days ago and only hunted it once. But we're doubling up tonight because we got the right wind to do it. So we're going to go pull this stand, pull that stand, and we're going to join them together on the middle of this tree row in here. Two XOPs flying high as one. As one. I'm excited. Get to spend the rest of the trip in tandem. Good stuff. Oh yeah, that's awesome. What do you think about it? I think it's great. We tagged, we filled the tag when we were together two nights ago. That's so we gotta keep doing it. I don't have a choice now because we tagged out. <laughs> we're gonna slip up there, we're gonna try to do this as quick as we can and move this stand and get ready for the night. Alright. That was a quick unhang. Now we go rehang. Times two. Yeah, I mean, actually, really don't, won't have to prune as much. I mean, some of the stuff we'll just have to look through, you know? Yeah. To, but really just mainly worried about getting a shot right here. That looks like where it's going to be the straightest. Test out the Cody DeQuisto one tooth theory. <laughs> shoot, him, shoot him sitting? Dude, honestly, it, it might be more comfortable for me. Yeah. Just because, like, how the stand's set up, it's like there's no back to it, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it's it's fine if I'm... Honestly, honestly, maybe. Which, it'll allow me for less movement. Right. You know? I Like, this, all this bush behind me, I don't think they're going to see. No. Coming in from the field. It's a little trail. Looks good. All in, last two days. This set right here. I suppose if we're gonna be all in, I don't hate it being here. No, it's I a good spot. It here, yeah. It's a good spot. You can see a lot more of the those beans over there and that slough. Yeah. From up a little higher. From up the higher on the hill. Yeah. yeah. This is the this is the weather change. It is. We've been waiting for this all week. There's been. We haven't seen a cloud since last Monday. I mean, literally. <laughs> so, number one, just it being overcast is a huge, huge benefit, I think, because these deer might get up earlier, that sun and the shadows will be gone. They're gone right now, and we got just a little pockets of rain here and there. And if it rained here right before we got in, it'd be beautiful, but we'll take we'll take the wind switch and the, and the overcast for sure. Well, trip is winding down. You start to get that little uh, sad feeling in your gut a little bit, but there's really nothing to be sad about. We came out here, it was a tough trip in the beginning, 
just trying to get ourselves on deer and whatnot and probably on one of the tougher hunting days of the of the week or the two weeks that we've been here we made adjustments we put ourselves in the right spot and Dean killed an amazing buck and we got awesome footage because of it and because of that we get to go enjoy the last two days in a tree together in North Dakota so for that in itself like for me I'm extremely grateful for that and we got the weather coming in I mean it, it literally couldn't have worked out any more perfect for the last two or three days of the hunt it went from 93 when we went in yesterday right now it's 68 degrees at the same time it's pretty insane almost a 30 degree temperature drop and the temp is going to consistently go down for this afternoon it's going to go down into the 50s overnight and it's going to the high is like mid 60s tomorrow too so the next couple days should be really good it's been blaring sun for a week and a half since we've been here and we got cloud cover I mean, these are the days that we literally look forward to when we leave North Dakota the previous year. It's like going in there, end of the summer, early season, opening week. We know it's going to be warm regardless. That's inevitable. But when you get that cold snap, especially the high temperature drops, like 20 to 30 plus degree temperature drops, it changes the deer completely. They get up and move early. They move a long way and the buck that we're going after is a buck we nicknamed Cheech had an encounter with him three nights ago now came close he was on camera I was able to sneak out actually Dean and I were both able to sneak out and he hasn't been back on camera since but these deer are finicky out here you know they can they can move a long way in a short period of time or they can stay in one solitary spot for days at a time we're hoping that with the warm weather he hunkered down in a slough somewhere and this cold weather is going to get him up tonight and he knows where he wants to eat and he'll be back We're on the last couple days of our hunt. Dean and I came in and hung the, these XOPs today, and I mean, other than basing our hunt on the trail cameras and stuff, I mean, this there's I don't know that there's any other spot that I'd rather be. We can we can see a long way, and we're right right in the game. We've got our number one target buck that's still alive since Dean shot the other one. Um, <laughs> He was here a couple nights ago, has been gone for a couple days, but just hoping that the warm weather has just kind of had his movement subdued. He, he was also still in full velvet, and I know a majority of the bucks are out now, so he may just be somewhere in a slough or in some other trees or something shedding his velvet, but I really do think with this cold weather that's come in and... Uh, you know, a little bit of rain sprinkles throughout this afternoon is going to get these deer up on their feet. Hopefully he's still somewhere close and hopefully he wants to make this his first destiny of the evening. It's been a solid, successful trip again. North Dakota is always so good to us. Not only from a hunting perspective, but just the people here, the landscapes, the solitude and the serenity that lives here is is something that you don't get to experience many other places i promise you that especially with how fast today's world goes this is like old school on the prairie living and i for the time that we get to spend here each year we soak it up it's good stuff Thank you. 
good. I mean, it would be perfect timing. Wish it was happening right now, but. Well, the last time we have to be what, then that's fine. You're right. But I'm gonna put my jacket on now, then, because it looks like we're gonna get smashed. It's like breaking up a little bit. All the color balls. Dude, if we get it, that'll be fine. You just brought your best. Yeah. That ain't gonna keep you warm, cuz. I'm be a lot, lot <laughs> Yeah, no, I feel ya. No, you'll be alright. You'll be fine. You're a resilient guy. But yeah, we're definitely gonna get what? So, I believe that could be a good thing for hunting purposes. But I do believe it's coming. I think so. Our wind started blowing that way a little bit. Maybe not. Spindly eight. What? Might be that spindly eight. It's definitely not cheating. 